no, don't follow me. Don't follow me. This was a mistake. Hey guys and welcome back to another Minecraft One Life. In today's episode I really want to get myself a polar bear because this girl don't have one and when I went to Stacy's adoption center there were no polar bears left so I've got to get my own. It's got to be done and I got my lead. I think that's all you need. A lead for the polar bear. Before I do that though I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself the dog tags because I'm gonna name the dogs that I have wherever they may be. Where the heck are only did my dog tags go? Honestly I can't find them so I'm gonna make some new ones. So I've got five dog tags here let's give our dogs a name. So I think these ones have already been named. Oh no we have one without a name that we're gonna name. Oh yeah this one has the yellow collar. So the name I have chosen for this wolf is lemon what a cute name thank you so much for the suggestion and now we're gonna breed two dogs together to get a puppy very excited okay you and barry allen create a baby wolf oh <gasps> so cute so small come back come back where are you going so i want to eventually get myself an array of rainbow wolves it's getting quite difficult to know what color everyone is we're gonna pick out a new dye i don't think we have an orange color yet so you shall be orange if you guys can think of a name for a orange wolf let me know in the comment section down below and i will choose the cutest name suggestion looks like we're gonna need more dyes though because we're running out okay so i want to get myself a polar bear and i know where they are actually they're over near stacy's house so i'm gonna go and find one of my own and make it like a little area i could probably make it like there i think or I could even do it down there. I have so much room that it doesn't really matter where I keep the polar bear, but we just need to go and find one first because we don't have one. We can't be coming up with ideas for a polar bear that we don't even own yet. So that is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go and find one in the wild. And obviously I'm not gonna take one that has a family. I wanna find one who wants to be rehomed. It's so cruel to just go and take one from the wild unless it's on its own and it's lost. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's such a long walk. While I'm there as well, I'm gonna get a bunch of snow and I'm also gonna get some dirt from over there because there is a specific type of dirt that I like. So I will go and get that. Oh, wait, is that a polar bear? Oh no, there's a polar bear out here in the trees. This isn't where you belong. Have you got stuck here? Okay, well, it looks like fate has told me I'm gonna have to take you with me. This little polar bear is in the middle of nowhere. It's not a good place to be. Oh, he's so cute. I am so happy with this polar bear. That was very easy to find one. And it's one that was lost and would have died if I didn't rescue it because it's out in the forest when it should be in snow. Oh no, the lead broke. So I'm just gonna try and get this guy home now without losing him or snapping the lead. Uh oh, he's stuck in a tree. It's just not good, is it? It's just not good when you get stuck in a tree. Oh no, 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 don't follow me. Don't follow me. This was a mistake. I have fallen. Oh, that could have ended terribly, but it didn't. So <laughs> thank goodness for that. Walking a polar bear isn't that easy. It really isn't. We are nearly home. Yes. Welcome. This is where you're going to be spending the rest of your life. And when I put it like that, it kind of seems really mean, but it's not, I promise. So I'm going to lead you up there for now. And I'm going to get rid of this giant tree that was actually once a paper tree. And when I got a paper tree, I didn't know how it worked. And it then made a jungle tree, which I didn't want. Yay. So let me chop this down. Perfect. So I'm going to make his little igloo here like the one that Stacy had in her store that was like such a cute idea to have the little igloo because obviously they are what you find in the snow biome so that's what I want to do and to do that I'm going to need a bunch of snow and also the dirt that I found so I'm going to go and get that now I have my silk touch pickaxe with me so hopefully it keeps all the snow on it if it doesn't I'm going to be so sad but I guess we'll find out oh and if there's any I see irises or anything to do with snow and plants. We're gonna get them because we need them to make our polar bear feel at home. Here we are at the snow biome. So I'm gonna take some of this hardened ice as well, seeing as though it will make him feel at home if we have that. And I wanna plant some spruce trees that reminds me of snow. I just need to get 
this. The ice and the hardened ice. So let's do that before it gets too dark. Oh no, it's getting very dark. Looks like we're sleeping at the top of this giant ice biome today. What an amazing view. Wait, can I not sleep up here? Oh no, we're gonna have to get down real quick. I don't want zombies spawning. Okay. There we go, daytime. Let's have a look for some snow related flowers. Oh, there's loads of polar bears here. See, they love this biome. Uh oh, skeleton and the creeper. Oh no, oh, oh no, this is bad. This is real bad. Oh, I can't kill it. It's near a polar bear if it blows up. No, okay, it's fine. Honestly, I thought we were gonna blow up the polar bear. That would have been terrible, but we didn't, it's all good. So let's take some of these icy iris. Let's also take some spruce saplings. Wow, what are these? I wish I could take one of these home with me. This is made of packed ice, which is a different kind of ice. So I may as well take some of that too. So cool. Oh no, my pickaxe is running out and I still need to get the dirt. Bunny, I need to come back and get my own bunnies. Can I take one of these bushes? Oh no. It breaks when you touch it. We also need to get ourselves some snow. So let's collect some snowballs. Now this is the dirt I want. It looks so cool and different. I'm gonna take a bunch of this and I hope the snow stays on top of it, but I don't think it will. No, it doesn't. But it's okay, we'll just place the snow on top of it and it should look like it does here. Cool, so I think I have enough dirt now. It looks like chocolate. I'm gonna go home and start building our polar bear somewhere cool to live. We're back home. And and has my polar bear broken from its leaves? It has, how did that happen? Okay, well at least we still have the polar bear. I was honestly worried it would despawn or something, but it didn't. So my next job is to make some fences to stop my polar bear escaping its area. I wanna see if I have any left. I have 13 or 26 jacaranda. I'm gonna use the jacaranda fence actually, cause that sounds like it would be useful. And also jacaranda is such a nice wood. Why would we not use it? <laughs> Get it? Why wood? we not use it? Uh, yeah, that was a terrible joke, whatever. So I want my polar bear's area to be quite big. I'm just gonna mark out where I want it to be, probably like this big. I think that is a lot of room for a polar bear. Yeah, look, he loves it. So if we can get the fence all the way around, that would be good, but I'm not feeling very good about this actually. I don't think I have enough fence. Wait. <gasps> I did have enough fence, that's amazing. Yay, look at that, that worked out like basically perfect. Put our bed down and go to sleep because it's nighttime. And now let's get in here and chop down this tree. So can we make snow? Yes, we can. Good, because that's what I want. And you know what would be perfect for this? We could create a snow golem and he could put all of the snow on the floor. Yes, this is perfect. Why didn't I think of this before? Let's see if I have any pumpkins in my farm so that we can do that. Hey, what is this? Sorry, I harvested your cotton. Ooh, Scott gave us some diamonds because he harvested our cotton. Yo, that is a good trade deal. Doesn't look like we have any pumpkins here. We have one. One. one pumpkin. Is this a joke? I thought we would have more than that. Whatever, I'm sure one will be enough and he can live in there as well. And we can make it all Christmassy when we get closer to Christmas time. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So let's try create a snow golem. Hopefully this will work. Oh, oh, it did. I was gonna say like, what was wrong? Hey, little dude, you're so cute. Oh, I love you. Yes, I'm so happy. Okay, so now we need to make an igloo. I will get back to you guys when I have built it because because I'm worried this is gonna take a long time. <laughs> I've made an igloo, but I mean, it doesn't really look that good. It's fine, it looks okay, but I've just never built an igloo big enough for a polar bear. So I have it here and uh, I mean, it is fine. I guess it's fine. So what I wanna do is get my ice and my packed ice and I'm gonna use it for the flooring on the inside of the igloo so that the polar bear is always kept Cool, because polar bears like the cold. Thus why they're called polar bears. So we are gonna fill the floor in with different types of ice. And I don't want it to be perfect. Hopefully we have enough ice because if we don't, that would be terrible. A few moments later. We don't have enough ice. <laughs> we have a problem here. We don't have enough ice. Oh, we have some hardened ice, but we only have seven. Hopefully we'll be okay. Uh -huh, I feel like we're not gonna be okay here. Oh no. 
we need more ice. What have I done? But it's looking super cool. So let's go back and get some more ice. And then we're pretty much nearly finished with the enclosure. I wouldn't mind getting a couple of fairy lights or two. Let's go take a horse with us this time because it, it took too long to get there on foot. But if we go on a horse, It'll only take like two minutes. Here we are. All the different types of ice that you could possibly need. Let's get some. Hopefully my horse doesn't just disappear because they're known to do that. Please don't disappear. No, 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 no. Don't leave. Okay, let's get some of this ice up here as well. I hope it's a different type of ice. Perfect. Give me all of this. We should definitely have enough now. So let's go home before it gets too dark and make my polar bear a house he will love. Ah, oh, it's dark in this a creepy forest. I don't like it. Ah, I keep getting stuck in trees. This is really not good. Help. I don't like it. I want to go home. How the heck did we end up at Lizzie's house? Ouch. This is terrible. All right, my farm's here. It's all good. Wow, that was scary. Woohoo. I'm back, my friend, and I have brought you some ice. Oh, this looks so cool. Literally, it looks really cool because, you know, snow and stuff, it's cold. <laughs> Get it? Nope. Okay, so where's my snow golem? You're not doing a very good job. What are you doing, bro? I need you to actually make some snow around this place. Stop slacking. Yeah, that's it. Dragging him around with a lead. <laughs> Getting things done. Yes. Create the snow, that's what we need. It'd be cool maybe if you put some snow in here, just a little bit, just around, you know? Just have fun, just do what you want. I need to plant a spruce tree here. I think that would look really nice, so let's make some bone meal to do that. Here we go. Work, why won't you work? What's going on? Do I need to break around it? Why would you not grow? Come on, spruce tree. There we go. Oh, this is looking good. Yeah. Then I have my icy iris that I'm gonna place. Oh, I would have loved to place it on there. Why can't I? Does it only go on snow? No, it just goes on grass. Oh, well, I will put it here. And I'll also put one around there and the same on the other side. My little pole there has somewhere cool to live. And I've also been replacing the ground with this awesome loamy dirt but i'm pretty sure my polar bear's home is complete it is looking so cool oh he loves it he's inside he feels like he's at home i'm so happy i'm glad you like it i want to add some finishing touches to it which is a straw bed for the polar bear you know even though he's a wild animal he still wants a comfy bed to sleep in, don't we all? I'm gonna put my horse back in the stable before it disappears. And I'm gonna make my polar bed some things for his little home. So I need myself a straw bed. Here we go. Very nice. And also a bedside table. And I'm gonna give him a little gingerbread house. And this is just gonna look so cute. I'm so ready for this. Oh, he's so sweet. I can't deal with it. He's too cute. He's just too cute. He's killing me. Okay. So we're gonna have his bedside table with his gingerbread house on it. Oh, I can't deal. And then finally his hay bed because he is a polar bear who likes to sleep comfortably, don't we all? There we go. This is his home home. Ah, oh, it's just so cute. So guys, this is where I'm going to leave today's episode of Minecraft One Life. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Also, leave me a polar bear name suggestion. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> because this big guy needs a name. Hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next one.